Hi Gemini, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this period of time in your life. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Gemini. I do feel that this month of June brings a lot of focus into this uh, opportunity type of vibration. I do feel that some of you have a lot of options ahead that you may be missing out on for some of you because of some um, mental, uh, let's say, pris prison or a, sen a sense of uh, being out of options or out of ways to get you towards your dreams and your goals. I do feel that some of you are dealing with some type of restrictive uh, thought process that keeps you a prisoner of circumstances that do not please you or relationships that do not serve you. And so you are being called in the month of June to really push ahead, to be strong, to be brave, uh, so you can break free from chains of illusion that your mind creates to um, keep you where you are. Now, th this doesn't mean that for some of you there not there may not be real conditioning, real situations, hard situations to get away from. There might be, but still, I feel that some of you are not seeing the options ahead because you're too focused on the problem and not on finding the solution. There's an energy of um, like a blindfold, so there needs to be an awakening of some sorts to get you to the bottom of situations, to get you towards the truth of what it is and what is not. I do feel that for some Geminis, there's this big contrast between what it is and what is not, like black and white type of situations. I do feel that some of you in the month of June are looking for definitions, for certainties, or at least a sense of direction so you can uh, choose with all the facts, with all the information. I feel that some of you do not want to miss out on uh, anything. And so you want to, it's like I see, I see some of you researching, collecting the most uh, information, details, you know, thoughts, memories, you know, emotions, and putting everything in the same bowel and looking at what it is there, looking at everything, because I do feel that some of you are trying kind of to, to, to build the bigger picture, to see the bigger picture of, again, the path forward. Some of you will have a lot of uh, energy, successful energy in regards to work, especially work that has a lot of your creativity infused in it. I, I feel that some of you do not see how attractive, how amazing, how uh, energetic, how confident you are to the eyes of the world. I feel that some of you feel really weakened in terms of believing in your potential or believing that you are your own hero here. I feel that some of you may present yourself in a way that you don't see or you don't see the reflection back to you. So what others are seeing from you, uh, what others are describing you as, what others are telling you, it, it feels possibly for some of you during the month of June a little bit out of context with how you feel about yourself. And you may be surprised about, uh, for some of you, how you have been choosing to look at yourself, how you have been allowing, you know, uh, this um, inner conversation to happen to let you believe that you are a bird in a cage and you have no other options than being a bird in a cage. So I see Gemini's having this awakening about that there's something that some of you have been, uh, it's like some of you have been uh, asleep or uh, in this hibernation phase that it should have been over a couple months ago. I do feel that some of you are dragging, you know, a little bit of a lazy energy here. It's like for some of you, it may be lazy energy. For some of you, it may really be like this state of com coma where you really don't see or you don't 
consciously understand that you are sleeping, uh, sleepwalking through your life. You are sleepwalking through situations. For, so for those Geminis that have this capacity to look with honesty um, towards their own patterns and, and possible blockages, there's something you have been sleepwalking about that it's time to wake up. I feel that this waking up is very important because you're missing on opportunities on pursuing or achieving actually what you truly desire. And I feel that Geminis are here walking towards a path of the heart, choosing the heart over the mind. And it may be very tricky to get you there. It may be very hard to make that conscious choice without feeling some inner conflict or some uh, you know sense of um, challenge because I feel that your mind is really playing tricks with you and your heart is like uh, really communicating or wanting fiercely to communicate with you it's a great time to tune into that space more than here so you can uh, actually understand how you're feeling about situations how you're feeling about yourself and maybe so be a, like with that knowledge with that information being able to you know change or adapt what it is you need to change and adapt your path forward is one full of opportunities in terms of love relationships of all senses connection building a stronger connection again a more balanced connection with your own inner self which your masculine and feminine energies your rational and subjective thinking so there's a lot of balance here and a lot of getting to understand yourself maybe through the eyes yes of others as well maybe through attracting relationship dynamics that can be very profound very magnetic and very um you know uplifting in terms of getting uh, yourself to see against parts of yourself that you wouldn't see without that trigger but deep down at the deepest core this is about you building this relationship with your heart your mind your rationality your emotions your uh, light and your, your your shadow and so forth so I also feel that you are very aware that in the month of June that you need to make some type of choice or that there's some type of um, crossroads you're reaching uh, you're reaching in this um, phase of your life where you may need to make some option you may need to make some decisions about uh, what you're going to do next it could be about where you're taking your career next where you're taking yourself next where you're taking your life usually this encompasses where you're taking your life um, how is your life, you know, satisfying to your heart, satisfying to your soul during this period of time? And when it's not, this energy really brings a sense of uh, friction, a real sense of not being able to feel at ease with how things are because it's like there's something missing. And there is. Lovers is an energy of falling in love with who you are, falling in love with your life, falling in love with... Uh, your own self and I do feel that some of you are going to be uh, directed to understand or to, to, to awaken to the fact that there's more options than what some of you are seeing in other notes I do feel that some Gemini's here in the month of uh, June can recover from certain uh, experiences that have been hard on them I do feel that some of you may attract very, uh, it's like very strong attractions and repulsions during this time. Like you may have strong likes and dislikes over everything around you. But I also feel that there's a lot of uh, passion and uh, chemistry with um, others. So there may be some focus in your your on your own sensuality, in your own attraction, your own uh, ability to seduce and call you know to you what you need what you want there's a lot of desires as well being steered here but it's interesting because i do feel that it's coming more from the outside you may not it's something that somehow you are there's a vibration within you that it's desiring that but i feel that more than you going after you know those opportunities to have very uh intense passionate encounters i feel that there may be just out of nowhere 
people your way, people coming your way and seeing things in you, you know, awakening uh, your senses, um, making you feel very desired in ways where you haven't possibly uh, felt in a while for some of you because there's a little bit of a sleepwalking situation here. So I do feel that some of you are actually being the objects of desire for some people. I do feel in other ways that others of you are recovering and you are regaining strength. You are understanding that you are much more powerful than, again, this challenge of the Eight of Swords lets you believe. I do feel that some of you are understanding uh, desire in terms, not only in terms of sexuality, but in terms of you wanting to feel alive, wanting to feel that vibration of things, um, you know, matter like things mattering to you i feel like some of you stopped caring uh for cer certain things or it like it's like um it doesn't give you this strong energy of definition again if you like or you don't like if it matters or it doesn't matter to you you stopped caring about certain things that actually you used to care about or that authentically you do care about so there's some degree of indifference that some of you have been through that I feel June wants you to clear out in order to regain more it's like to save our life in a different way to have more appetite for the things you want and also at the same time more willingness more strength and determination to get rid of what you don't want because i do feel some gemini's here as are as well being called during the month of june to step away from toxic uh relationships i feel that some of you have when i say toxic relationships it doesn't have to be you know uh just love uh relationships i do feel that there is behaviors that need to change in order to keep uh certain people you care about in your life i do feel that some of you again because there's this strong vibration of attraction um you may be attracting good people to you and others that maybe it's not what you want or the best choice for your type of uh um, you know, for what you truly want in terms of soul satisfying connections. I do feel that there's a lot of let loose type of energy for Gemini's that have been again hibernating, for Gemini's that have been sleeping, let loose, uh, go out, dance, appreciate life, feel, you know, life within your body, feel it uh, pumping through your blood, you know, it's like um, there are certain things that you need to be re-energized with. I feel like your batteries need to be recharged, but it's not in a rel relaxation or sleep state. I think that some of you have overdone that. It's actually by moving, dancing, creating, because there's so much creativity here. Uh, doing things that you love to do. You don't need to have... A reason why um, anything that helps you break free from this cage mentality will help you in the month of June every time you feel a prisoner every time you feel suffocated anxious or just out of out of ways think about solutions turn train to train to train to turn around your thoughts of um, you know limitation like don'ts or nevers and i can't change those words every single day and if there's someone if there's a sign that this really matters and this really affects you uh can affect you powerfully is a gemini so the way you communicate with you, with yourself is very important to get you towards the end results here which is to move away from troubled waters and actually being able to feel like you're positive, positively changing towards a direction that is appealing to you and not restrictive. I feel that um, as well, there's some of you that have some work to do again and, and you need to be more, I feel that some of you need to be more grounded 
so you can produce more because you're called to do more you call, there there's something about like uh sizes something about big something big here something very uh expensive and i feel that it's related with your work or the capacity of what you could be or what you could do you could achieve greatness you can achieve a lot of people uh, you can um connect with a lot of people you can achieve connections that's what i want to say at a larger scale than possibly what you believe right now but because some of you have been dragging or delaying or just in a lazy vibration because sometimes this four swords is a little bit like the co-pilot energy where you're just doing things out of necessity not necessarily out of passion and desire because somehow maybe you've lost that connection with the heart because remember before the four of swords comes the three of swords usually there's some heartbreak that leads to this need to make a pause and heal but i feel that some of you are done with that and some of you do need to go back to the heart space so you can attract the love you want the life conditions you want the, the work opportunities you want I feel that the key for success for Gemini's during this month is to really pour the heart into matters and shut down the mind, like let your heart breed, let, let it come out. You have been healing it. Some of you have been trying to protect it and shelter it and, you know, disconnect and that's fine. But even if slowly, give it a chance, give it an opportunity to talk, to show itself, to reveal itself, because it will do wonders to you in all senses. I feel that, again, measures and sizes have some relevance here. I feel that some of you, it's like, don't under or over um, value and appreciate uh, or, or define anything. Just keep things, again, as they are, as you feel them. You don't need to be anything less or more than what you already are. The question is, are you being everything you know you are or are you just holding yourself back or trying to be something that deep down you're not because of something that you believe needs to be that way. And I feel that some of you are going to, it, towards the end of the month, going to understand that even if you still don't know where you're going to go, you're drifting away from what's not healthy, what's not productive. I do feel that some of you are hurting yourselves uh, over and over and over again over things that um, are like debris of events, circumstances, you know, situations that you are waiting to mend, you are waiting to see them fixed or resolved. And I feel that the key for some of you, of course, the key for that is actually to move. And by moving, you will breathe and by the breath you will understand that life is still with you life is still out there and whichever you're trying to fix whichever you're trying to understand you will get there slowly but you will get there i also but just don't hurt yourself over and over by you know the same type of actions the same type of thoughts the same type of patterns that you already know don't work or you already know are damaging to you the, there's again this like just don't stop this this is not a period of time to stop to stall to deny the importance of you doing things by yourself and i do feel that you won't be, you won't be alone i actually feel that some of you are looking for happiness in terms of uh you and the relationships you have with others in your life some of you are really looking for love and there is a great opportunity for you to find it ahead but you need to walk on that direction we cannot want and desire a love relationship or a good uh, uh, improved relationship with love let's say without 
being love, without feeling love, without understanding what it is that love truly means means to us, without integrating the lessons of past experiences. You know, we cannot ask for something that we we, we don't feel we can give at a certain level. At a certain level, so how can we receive it back? How can the universe give you something that you're not ready deep down to receive? Because either you're afraid or hurt or whatever the the issue is i feel that you need to be love to attract love it's very important and so getting to understanding of what it is that you feel will take you a long way towards you know understanding your desires and your truth in relationships and not only in relationships in terms of where do you want to go i feel that some of you really it's like you're lost you 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 don't know if you want to go left or right and i feel that month the month of june is a month for you to sit down a little bit contemplate and then choose with no fear with no guilt because worse than choosing wrong is staying the same is staying on the same stagnant unhealthy waters and the universe will retribute uh your efforts of change and movement and because i do feel that as you move there's opportunities after opportunities coming things that you either are missing out on already or things that you don't see like things that you could do to help your life right there in front of you and as you move you will see them or maybe you will re recognize that they were all along right there so I hope you have a great month of June. Thank you so much for all of you who have been liking, sharing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.